Okay, so I have started recording. Hello everyone, thanks for joining this online webinar on the topic called how to crack any Azure certification. So Azure, as you know, this is a cloud product by Microsoft, one of the leading. And Microsoft has a lot of Fortune 500 clients. So even uh, my profile is into .NET, actually full stack development. I am a multi-cloud architect. I'm having total 16 years of experience into IT. And I have worked on a lot of uh, Fortune 500 companies. I have worked on AWS Cloud also and GCP also from Google to some extent and Azure also I have used. And I have solution architect certification from Azure, AWS and GCP. So all cloud I have certification. So I would say actually that if you learn one cloud, uh, shifting to another cloud is relatively easy. You can easily compare the services, maybe some terms and the definition, few of the thing may be different, but like more or less the cloud networking, compute storage, those like will remain, uh, you will find actually similarity actually in that. Uh, and there is no one like uh, best cloud. I would say all the cloud like AWS, Azure, GCP from the Google has the market share and they have their own corporate clients actually. So I, I wouldn't be able to say that this is the best cloud or this is, that is the best. I would say actually whether you pick up Azure or AWS, do your best, have the all the knowledge, like up to date knowledge, target a specific certification based on the role you are looking for and do some hands on also a lot of sandbox environment this company used to provide. And, and then yes, mention your resume and look for the role in the IT or if you are of experience also, then you can shift accordingly. So let's move on how to crack any Azure certification. This is brief about, about our NGO. Career Guidance Council. We are a non-profit organization. We conduct offline, online, this kind of session free of cost. We are a group of professional working in different MNCs. And we used to conduct session in schools, colleges also. We have job WhatsApp group also through which we used to circulate our event information. So if some of you are not uh, into our job WhatsApp group, maybe towards the end, I will share that link also. You can join our job WhatsApp group also. So let's proceed. So briefly, as I mentioned, how to crack Azure certification. So that will be our agenda. Brief some benefit of Azure certification. Uh, previously, uh, like last to last uh, Saturday, I have talked on AWS. Uh, this Saturday, I thought to cover the things related to Azure. So cloud, as some of you are always knowing that cloud is like cloud provider like Azure, AWS, they used to offer the compute services, storage services, networking services, different services actually over the internet actually. You can just purchase any virtual machine, Linux, Windows, and then basically based on the consumption, what you will be getting, uh, you will be charged accordingly. And you need to pay as a cloud provider monthly to that, that charge. So what is the benefit actually? It is like, you don't need to worry about too much about maintaining the infrastructure that will be done by the cloud provider to you. Means quick uh, application deployment, you can host the website quickly. And the charges also, also I would say that that will be the competitive only uh, um, the cloud provider provide to you. So that's why actually nowadays since like any startup company actually, whether they are into new to the startup, they need some services to host the website, they need the services to run the mobile application, Android, iOS, or whatever actually company internal application, they want some huge storage, actually unlimited storage if they are looking for. So these are the, I would say, uh, the basic purpose actually, and a lot of other useful thing as some of you, if you're already into IT, you would be knowing a lot of things are there and building all these services, cloud provider, basically giving you uh, like an option for you to focus on your business, the related infrastructure, services, cloud, compute, storage, they are providing you as a service actually. And earlier to build all these services, a lot of investment and it was not easy actually. Like there is a service called Blob Storage in Azure, which is like unlimited storage where you can store your document file, any structured, unstructured data, anything actually. And even you can have some archive tier, uh, I would say actually. 
so those services and that is like a global service actually across the region you will tell that i am from the indian region i want to have this service for indian region so you will be getting the bill and monthly cloud bill accordingly so cloud has a lot of benefit actually i would say it is having the elasticity also so based on if your resources are increasing the the like the limit on your compute storage also will be getting increased accordingly and lot of flexibility the cloud provider will be giving to you so this was earlier was not easy actually all this thing even if you have some uh, i would say some application on the on premise uh, you can have some of the application critical wherein uh, like the security and the uh, like compliance is very very important you want to have some something on your on premise and some of the storage uh, you want to move into cloud so that kind of hybrid connectivity also nowadays you can have in the cloud so those kind of flexibility also so some of the services also mentioned like uh, database object storage queue compute networking a uh, lot of services like 200 plus services azure has so this is about basic uh, about like cloud i would say benefit of certification is, is like you will get the foundation cloud knowledge for career advancement also for even for experienced person he mentioned that i have azure solution architect certification i have azure uh, developer certification i have azure csop certification so that give lot of weightage actually and uh, so certification will have benefits actually for career advancement even for fresher if you mention if you are looking for like developer role and you mention that you have some basic level azure certification also and you are looking for like uh, azure specific role so obviously company will like uh, like appreciate that skill set validation of skill increase earning uh, earning potential also so having certification uh, will in, will increase will give you more earning potential industry recognition is, is all recognized industry wise i would say certification like if someone is new to the cloud uh, he want to get started certification try to cover the theory part very well end to end actually along with the theory part you can have some hands on also send in the sandbox environment that also you can try it out because once you get into some project like even in on the corporate actually you will be using some specific kind of services on, only but you need some kind of initial foundational knowledge some theory actually which certification will give you very well actually i am not saying that the certification is the only thing people used to make career without certification also that is also true but company do recognize this certification like if someone is looking for architect architect role solution architect in azure and he is he is already having the solution architect certification from the azure then it means a lot actually um, and company do appreciate that because clearing the certification is not easy you would need to spend a lot of time you would need to learn you would need to write some mock practice exam and then you need to appear for for the final certification so so it is a good thing actually i would say in in order to go if someone is new to the cloud or moving to the cloud or looking for the role certification is is very good so <clears throat> these are like few azure services overview uh, that i will cover later actually list of azure certification these are i would say the basic and the primary certification this is not like complete list i won't say that this is the complete list even uh, microsoft used to keep adding lot of new services in their list and currently i see on their website there are more than uh, more than like 18 to 20 certifications are there on the on the azure microsoft website actually but like if someone is getting started uh, as one person was told that he has already done some basic certification so people start generally with azure ai fundamental this is for ai actually this also they has come up ai 9 900 if you are looking for like basic knowledge into artificial intelligence so azure ai fundamental this is certification azure fundamental this is very very like i would say basic and a lot of people do that actually who want to learn cloud az 900 azure data Fund fundamental db 900 if you go from fundamental to associate level then there are these are the list of certification actually if someone is looking even for devops role actually uh, azure administration az 104 uh, this is good to get started actually because for devops like azure devops engineer az 
this is uh, I would say as this is mentioned, this is coming into advanced or the expert category. So this is not entry level certification. Uh, means one can try this also. It is not that one has to do first the fundamental service. It is not like that. You can try, but it is like kind of a uh, expert level and uh, it will be like difficult to crack that. But like if you try first AZ administration, AZ 104, and some of the certification also has dependency actually. Means Microsoft won't give you solution architect certified certification. Uh, you need to complete two certification, AZ 305, Azure solution architect 305. And also you need to complete Azure administration, AZ 104. So both these certification you need to complete. Then only Microsoft will give you a badge that you are Azure solution architect certified. Similarly, there may be a dependency for DevOps that first Microsoft would, would expect. So like you can go to the Microsoft certification page for the individual certification. And if there is a prerequisite that you should complete first this one, that will be like clearly mentioned on the Microsoft website. You can browse to the certification in my Azure and you will get to know if there is some dependency uh, accordingly, like you need to do. As I mentioned for solution architect, 305104 both of these certification you need to do as your developer like if someone is looking for dev developer role this is very good certification for him az204 security engineer engineer lot of security cyber security these role are like very widely known nowadays and in future also lot of scope will be there company uh, every company is very critical because lot of cyber crime phishing theft you would be hearing that nowadays used to happen so security engineer certification will be like give you the initial foundation to learn the related security fundamentals in azure i would say actually this certification although few of the thing will be related to azure some of the services but as a engineer as a as a architect actually lot of like uh, foundational uh, knowledge also you will be getting actually which will be like you can apply not only to Azure, but in any problem solving actually a skill like like some of the solution architect certification, like why you should choose this, that which database you should choose SQL, no SQL. Those are like a uh, basic fundamental thing, which is applicable for the Azure as well as outside the Azure. Also that knowledge will be like essential. Some of the thing what you will be going through Azure security engineer. It is not only about specific to Azure, but as a general, what is security? What is like, what are the rules you need to follow? What are the basic fundamental? How you should ensure that your network infra is secure. So a lot of like learning, I would say that this certification uh, through that you will be getting that Azure data scientist. Nowadays data scientist role is also very popular. So uh, Microsoft has this certification power BI. Uh, related certification this is one data engineering microsoft azure uh, data engineer role is also nowadays very popular in fact data engineer and data scientist these are like uh, i would say the related role because for any data science activity if you want to perform first you need to have the data the data pipeline you need to set up input source you need to like process the data you need to push the data into some data lake or some storage <laughs> and then finally you will apply some data science and AI ML on the on the data so that you will get some kind of patterns and uh, out of that data actually. So this data engineering certification role is also very, very popular nowadays in the IT. So, so these role why I'm telling actually because so that based on your aspiration, which wherever you want to go, you can map your aspiration with the related certification. Uh, whether it is uh, like data scientist, data engineering, administration, this is kind of related to architect as well as DevOps also. Azure database, uh, this is this like related to all the database administration activity. Earlier, uh, before cloud, there used to be a role called DBA, database administration. And people used to do the database administration on premise uh, for the related company. Since Cloud also uh, has like if you offer cloud as your SQL, as your Cosmos DB, a lot of SQL, no SQL, graph, like all kind of database key value, Redis cache, a lot of things are there in Azure. So some person who is knowledgeable how to provision those 
Azure database resources, how to create that out, how to maintain that. This person would be having like the administrator knowledge. Even like some people, as I mentioned, those used to be a DB earlier when their company is migrating to Azure. Uh, so those people generally used to align their previous on-premise role with the cloud since they have the like related like their company migrating to Azure. So generally those people used to do Azure database administration certification to align uh, with their DBA, I would say the role. Uh, solution architect, I already mentioned, this is not for like these certification solution architect, this is not for fresher. Uh, for fresher, I would say Azure fundamental AZ 900, if you're looking for uh, like AI, uh, AI related thing, Azure administration AZ 104, this is like or developer certification, this is for the fresher. If you have minimum, I would say minimum uh, five year experience, even five years is also less. Like after seven to eight years, if you're looking for architects role into Azure, uh, then you should do, do this AZ305 certification. And DevOps also generally people think it is an entry level. It is not an entry level certification. It is like advanced as one person also has a lot of um, like free open source tool also company look for the knowledge like Jenkins, Jenkins, Terraform, Unix, Docker. So on the top of that, along if your company is looking, uh, has migrated their CI CD pipeline into Azure, then this is a very, very good role certification actually one should have. Uh, because for example, if I'm hiring a person, actually, I would definitely check his practical knowledge also, but certification, what happened actually, we, since I have also written certification, it is not easy lot of effort and uh, resources you need to go and lot of trick multiple choice question used to appear in this situation if you have the knowledge then only at least theory knowledge i would say you have then only you will be able to crack the certification so from the theory perspective knowledge perspective that's why these certification are kind of recognized in the industry and uh, some people were asking question i am working in uh, like MNC actually right now I cannot take their name since this is confidential and we are having the public webinar. Uh, developer, which one? Uh, developer certification. This is AZ204. This is the certification developer can do. Cloud engineer, which one? Cloud. These are all cloud certification actually. Like if you are doing cloud administration, then AZ104. This is the recommended certification and uh, whether you are from the database community, Power BI, this is like a visualization tool by the Microsoft, data scientist, data engineer, DevOps, solution architect. If you are looking for the role in the security side, AZ500, this is the certification. Dynamics 360, yes, yes. Actually, as I mentioned, this is not a com comprehensive list. There are still Dynamics 365 certification are also there. I was browsing the Azure website. Actually, they have those certification also. So it is there. You can do that. AWS, uh, this, this like uh, webinar is not related to AWS. So, but yes, at the end, if you want to ask something related to AWS, uh, I can cover that also. And my previous webinar also related to AWS has been recorded on AWS getting started some related certification detail. You can go to career guidance. Uh, our YouTube channel, you can listen to that recording if you have not attended previous webinar. And uh, I have prepared this certification, actually a lot of useful links, references. I will be sharing this presentation also. I'll be uploading this on, on some Google Drive and I'll be sharing this presentation. Right now, I want to show you some of the resources actually. Let me just go through. Means this is a, this I have this link also I have mentioned on the, on the, on the presentation also, actually, this, this is a Microsoft learn site. This is a, I would say the most important site for learning anything related to Microsoft product Azure certification. This link also I'll be sharing. Okay. I I'll be covering that actually. Uh, so what happened actually you can browse the, browse the certification from here also. And there are like lot of like, I would say, uh, uh, which level you are looking for the certification. 
whether it is like a beginner, intermediate, exp like advanced, application development. If I select application development, then Microsoft is suggesting me that Azure Developer Associate and Dynamics 365 certification is uh, like 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 uh, recommended for me actually what role i'm looking for i'm i'm looking for ai engineer role for example then microsoft is telling on this this web, website actually this is mentioned on my ppt also i will be sharing the link of microsoft learn website also yes i'm sharing the link also so ai this azure ai engineer associate AI fundamental, this certification you can do. And I actually, uh, even it is Microsoft, the good thing about Microsoft is actually they have a very good, I would say the learning website actually, and the con complete content is free. Okay. So even for learning Gen AI also, you can type Gen AI, there are some related courses. And uh, like if you are, if I type, for example, here, administration, administration, then so as you can see, even there are, I would say more than 30 to 50 certifications actually. Administration, they are telling me these are the different administration certification. Even you can type specific to DevOps, if you will filter. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sure actually there will be DevOps certification also here. For example, if you type, let me remove administration. You can search with the name also here in the top. DevOps solution AZ400, right? This is this certification has come. Even here, if I types, for example, solution architect. So see, this is like AZ305. Okay. Even one person was my dynamics actually. Uh, these are various other products from Microsoft actually. Uh, if someone know, they can try. Even for like database. These are like database administration associate migrate, like a lot of company do the migration. Actually, this is certification. This is kind of a course applied skill, right? This is not a certification. So uh, right now, let me search one of the very foundational certification. I would say the it is not listing. Okay. I would say right now, let me show one certification AZ. Uh, let me filter with certification here. This certification I want to tell actually as your administration associate. This is AZ 104 actually. Okay. So as you can see, actually, once you like pick up this certification, you want to try. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Salman. No space in between. So this will tell you intermediate role, which role it is product as your uh, prepare for the exam. If you want to prepare practice for the exam, prepare for the exam. If I click on this link. So in this, they will, they are giving you all this module actually, even like if you're new to the cloud, prerequisite for prerequisite for this certification manage. So for this certification, actually, these are various modules, uh, learning modules, actually, you would need to go through manage identity and governance, uh, configure and manage virtual network, implement and manage storage, deploy and manage Azure computes resources. For example, if I go to one of the module like this one, Okay. So in very good way, I would say they have given, uh, like in this module, there are further, I would say related chapters are there. These are the different chapters and under one particular module. So first you need to like go through chapter by chapter, configure virtual networks. So you would need to like learn this thing, each and everything means go through this one like click on introduction. And once you like 
go want to go to the next page you will click on next means in very good diagrammatic way and everything way they have kind of provided the complete overview of that particular module you need to go to the next actually to go to the next section these are all related to the networking actually subnet network virtual network azure bastion so i am telling you that everything has been given to you even actually if you want to try out something hands on actually this module will have the details of some hands on like some hands on like sandbox environment will be given to you free of cost you would need to like register into that and some hands on like creating the virtual network on azure uh some lab will be gi given to you you would need to follow the instruction and then you can create the virtual network on the azure so why i'm telling this actually you can go to all of this step by step as you can see unit 6 of 11 everything is step by step and you can just learn and this is like very very good material i would say actually the quality because this has been created by the microsoft some uh, very expert person prepare for this and, and practice once you like prepare and go through all the modules and the labs then they are also giving you some practice examination related to this az104 certification so see take the practice assessment experience demo if you want to launch the uh, like sandbox sandbox means actually some environment virtual environment will be given to you and you can try the hands on related to that like creating the virtual machine creating the virtual network for example take the practice assessment <coughs> this i am telling for one certification and likewise for all certification uh, the process is similar okay because once you go through all the theory okay even actually some of the theory the module which i was telling some used to have some video section also some video tutorial section also so see it is like one of 50 question this question are similar to what will be asked inside like in, in in the actual examination actually and this assessment you can try n number of time unlimited of time and whenever you will launch this assessment microsoft will give you some like different random question related to this certification okay like you have azure virtual host machine that hosts a third party application name app one user user report that they experience performance issue when they use the application you need to find the root cause of the performance issue what should you use they have azure virtual machine that hosts third party application name app1 they are experiencing performance issue you need to find the root cause because as an azure like developer or the admin this kind of issue someone is like hosting their uh, services on the azure virtual machine they are running on that some performance issue come so these are all like related time i would say activity log azure advisor azure cost or azure monitor so performance issue they are expecting a hosting actually though i am expecting this should be azure monitor okay this answer is correct so even actually like it will give you the advice like okay whether this answer is correct or not you can go to the next answer and some related link for azure monitor also you can open in the microsoft learn website even if you select say azure uh, go to the next answer and randomly if you select wrong answer check your answer it will tell that this answer is incorrect and what is the correct answer this is the correct answer and what is the description what is the related link we can go through that sandbox environment means actually if i click on this link some people they tell that hey i want to try something hands on actually i want to do some labs so this sandbox environment has been given provided to you free of cost by azure i have like i have experience on aws also and azure also but i would say the azure learning material like by the microsoft one is very very good actually like preparing something and trying that out in azure is relatively easy actually compared to aws they have not provided all this environment to you free of cost you need to get the subscription some monthly amount uh, in this i would expecting some uh, there are some question video also used to be there salma actually in the module some related video also but those those has been designed actually to go different module as i as i mentioned module has chapter you can go one by one you can uh, you can just try the practice examination so see this sandbox environment session time 8 hours 
what is this session like sandbox environment total exam question 14 okay case studies one lab one two tasks given i need to give next exam okay i think this sandbox environment is for some like exam actually uh, how the practical exam will like actual exam will come out and i think uh, ready to start the exam oh this is like how the actual exam when once you will register for the examination how that exam will look like if i click on the start the exam okay okay this is like how actually in the certification uh, in the actual certification actually uh, some 50 to 60 question come actually and the passing score to crack that certification used to be uh, minimum 70 percent you should score uh, but I am giving you like all the resources that all these resources are free of cost. And also see some people say that I want to watch the video AZ104 preparation video. Okay. You can try this video also. See lot of video intra ID access to resources. Everything actually, whether you are comfortable with the video or whether you are comfortable with uh, like related i would say the thing see if i type this thing i'm sure actually this will be like big video only so these are like different trainer by the microsoft they are explaining you each and every concept i am telling right now the example of az104 but you can even think of az like devops certification complete video, everything by the top notch Microsoft instructor you'll be getting eight hours. No, no, this won't last for eight hours. The examination generally used to be two hours. Actually 50 to 60 question used to be there. 70 pass uh, 70 percent is the passing score. <clears throat> Even I would say actually for learning purpose. Also, uh, these are like schedule exam. You will tell this is like not we, we are since we are from the India, we'll select the India region. The certification cost will be 4,800 and I say that it is a nominal cost only and what happened actually Azure has a lot of their own learning website actually and they used to host all free video classes also virtual virtual instructor led session also um, I would say if you go to the learn website I will be sharing all this link also with you if you are subscribing to them if you create the free account on their Azure portal also uh, you will be invited into some of the virtual instructor led certification also. And if you join those webinar, what happened actually, they may be giving you some voucher also means, uh, with that voucher, instead of 4,800, it will be just for 2,400. And sometimes those voucher also used to be free of cost means some of the certification like AZ 900, you can just take free of cost. You won't be charged anything. So means like if you are getting struck to a Azure then follow their Azure website, their conferences, their video, their Azure channel. Whenever they keep the virtual webinar, you will get a lot of benefit throughout, throughout, through that actually a lot of, even like I work in one IT company, actually my company promote all the certification and even I'll, they will be, they'll be giving me free voucher actually. So I don't need to offer, like, I don't need to pay for this because company also, why they promote internal employee because they also want to tell to the customer that, Hey, I'm having these many Azure DevOps certified. So whenever they are getting some new project, they can tell that I'm having uh, say hundred engineer who are Azure DevOps certified. So these statistics, they tell to the client and then client also acknowledge that yes, this company has a lot of knowledgeable certified resources actually. So let me give the, like the project to them. So you will select the country you will click on schedule the exam basically this will take you you need to enter your uh, credential and it is a like very simple process through pearson three pearson this is like one third party vendor and it is like a proctor based certification proctor based means actually you need to have your uh, you can even opt for go to certification center or opt for if you already have a system or the laptop with you at your home also you can take the certification and proctor based certification means it will be at your home but someone will be through the camera he'll be watching you throughout the certification time and they will tell you they will even ask you that clear all, all everything from your desk 
they will ask you to take the screenshot and uh, publish that through the mobile. Actually, you will be taking the snapshot that I don't have any books or anything on my, on my, on my laptop desk. And uh, throughout that, there should not be any sound coming. So it means some peaceful environment from through that you should be taking the certification. And uh, so as to ensure that you are taking the certification by yourself, some you are not getting the help from someone else. So that's what this proctor based certification exam, I would say. And these are easy only if you want to check how proctor based certification happens, you can check some of the YouTube resources also some links. Exam guide, what is the exam guide, certification poster, role base, support for credential, exam replay, choose your Microsoft certification. I would say actually if you are, even if you are looking for Udemy also, there are like some video resources also, or even there are some free resources on the YouTube also. Uh, depends on you what kind of thing you are trying. Udemy also, uh, this, uh, person actually it's a bestseller, right? Exa this is like exam preparation video. This is, uh, this person actually, he has having some, I see you damage prices. They used to fluctuate right now. It is showing 3,600, but I have purchased a lot of their courses on 300, 400 rupees, 500 rupees. Actually, I don't know, but they used to fluctuate their prices a lot actually. Uh, but don't get confused with this. These courses used to be uh, not that much price heavy. Uh, the benefit of this course, like if you offer some video learning for, for that particular certification, although it is like extra thing, as I mentioned, everything is there on the Microsoft Learn website, but you want to try out something extra, uh, you can opt for some paid courses also. This is additional. Once you go through all the thing, I would say some practice test, this examination, this also you should try it out. Practice examination means it is like a simulated kind of test for that particular certification. They will ask you exactly similar kind of, so like two to three practice tests. This used to have some six mock practice tests. I would say, uh, let me log in with my other credential actually. Even like, uh, recently I was trying to write this AZ 104 certification and I have purchased this. Udemy course also. I have gone through all the theory video and some of the lab also, but before writing the actual examination, I wanted to try out this practice test actually. And this practice ex ex test, as you can see, actually, uh, in six practice tests, they will try to cover each and everything concept related to the actual practice examination related to that particular certification actually. And if you pass all these practice tests, even maybe if not in the first time, maybe in second attempt, it is expected you should score more than 80% in all the practice tests. Means your chances of clearing the actual examination will tremendously will get improved. Because a lot of people actually, they don't try all these things. They used to go through some theory only and they used to like enroll for the examination. And actual examination is not used to be easy actually because a lot of knowledge and like you need to have, if you have gone through the resources, yes, then it will be easy to you. But if you have like less knowledge or half knowledge, then it will be very difficult to crack the certification. So before writing the actual examination, generally these courses also used to be some 300, 400 rupees. You can try this out. As you can see, this is one of the practice tests. It will give you kind of similar kind of simulation of how the examination will come in the actual test. Okay. So this is also recommended for you. This I have done for my previous certification. I have gone through the resources. I have done the labs hands-on. I have bought some related uh, Udemy courses, practice tests, and I have tried all the practice tests before writing the actual examination. As you can see in Udemy, some of the best selling practice tests for A0104, A0305 or AZ uh, DevOps course, you can try that out and Yes. And then that will give you a huge confidence before writing the actual examination and your chances of clearing the examination also will get increased tremendously. Benefit of this certification means it, it will, it will prove that you have the knowledge of this, like as your AZ104 and different certification, what I mentioned you, because 
and if you are looking for a devops certification you will you, your devops knowledge also will be like proved with this certification interview also you can tell that you can mention on your resume that you have this certification and obviously if you have gone through the certification as i mentioned the process is not straightforward that it is not that easily you will get the certification you need to learn it is an international certification and if the person has the knowledge um, in and around that area then only he will be able to pass the certification so this i would say this presentation which i have hosted i'll give this presentation link also with all of you and just keep a bas youtube trainer this is a link actually this is a presentation link you have a view access for this presentation since i have given all the uh, actually youtube for <coughs> like um, first decide the certification actually what you want to prepare actually like a0104 if i try so see this person actually i i see this is a very famous person andrew brian pre co 1.5 million view 3 years ago and this is like a 11 hour video course but this as i mentioned this is like a complimentary on the top of whatever already microsoft learn this website already has it has practice test it has sandbox environment it has everything actually even like for every role whatever role you want to opt out for you can learn even if you want to learn something like say uh, for example gen ai if you type this on microsoft learn you will got lot of certification ai fundamentals see study guide for ai fundamental lot of thing free of cost will be given to you and uh, for uh, like free i would say this person is a trusted person you can check andrew brown video and uh, aws solution architect uh, because i will move away from the topic uh, you can browse my previous like uh, course also like i would say career guidance uh, i'll be covering some more thing actually you can type your question uh, meanwhile this is like aws fundamental like this is the last time which i took the webinar you can go through that aws webinar this will give you the information actually about aws solution architect for which job role we can apply az104 it is like uh, azure fundamental knowledge i would say and azure administrator role administrator means actually since company if they are want to look to offer azure services actually they need some administrator who can create the virtual machine who can create the storage account who can even like manage those resources actually because company need to onboard the people actually right they need to these people need to know how to create the new user give the access to that how to give the read access write access how to create the storage account this i would say is the preliminary preliminary level certification before devops devops is more advanced certification and even like uh, so for administrator this person knows in and out about that he can recommend uh, which virtual network how to create that out this person knows about that actually even there was like this blog i i shared actually in my presentation also top 16 azure certification actually this blog also has see what are the benefit of azure this also this link also i have given in my presentation which i the link i shared with you fundamental certification if someone is totally new he doesn't know anything about the cloud then he can do this fundamental certification actually this will also take you to the microsoft learn website right 
and as i mentioned it has all the resources see these are the module you should these are the like complete content which is ex which is expected from you to prepare in order to be eligible to write the certification take the practice assessment like try the hands on with this sandbox environment within the certification also that module also you will have some video tutorials also you can try this out <coughs> salman yes actually linux network storage i would say network storage in az104 azure fundamental also some of the part will be covered in those certification depends which role you are targeting if you are targeting for uh, devops role yes devops needs to know linux also devops need to know docker containerization terraform so answer totally depends on your experience level and what kind of role you are targeting within 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 the cloud and within your organization or outside as i mentioned this is like a basic level certification we have seen lot of other certification are also there but this will give you whether you are at the totally beginner level then you should try out with azure az900 certification as i mentioned if you offer azure website learn they used to host lot of free webinar tutorial time to time and who were the participant they used to give some free voucher or the discounted voucher also previously actually in the covid time microsoft even made this certification az900 as a free anyone who is willing to learn uh, like like cloud fundamental they can freely so time to time this kind of i would say this discount offer used to come from the cloud provider azure administrator no as of now i would say linux uh, is like a good to know skill but it is not very much mandatory if you know linux it is good but it is not mandatory devops project <laughs> actually what happen uh, once you will go through this azure website you will see actually azure also has like uh, a lot of architecture website uh, architecture azure devops role and some sample devops ci cd pipeline uh, also that also will be given like for example azure 400 devops actually through through this learning also you will find lot of resources actually implements is implement ci with azure pipeline and github action so what i am telling you is actually you go through this module everything is given to you sandbox environment also you can do ci means continuous integration these through these also you can try out all these thing whatever mention in this uh, labs in this like modules and you can mention on your resume that i have i have done this practical thing like this this like related thing design implement release design is like implement a continuous deployment using azure pipeline just try it out uh, these thing <coughs> using the sandbox environment you can create your free account on the azure portal also and mention on the on confidently on your resume that i have sir i have implemented everything using azure because what happened actually in company azure devops is been used hugely actually azure devops tool has been used in corporate a lot even if the corporate is looking for aws cloud for any other reason because company nowadays having the multi, multi cloud strategy means they used to have multiple cloud in like some of the services they use from aws some services they use from azure and this is all based on i would say different criteria if they are getting discount if some services azure is good they they use azure services if something is good in aws they use aws so multi cloud strategy is very common nowadays uh, i would say i would also encourage you to create your free account on azure portal this is a i'll tell you azure portal login and uh, 
official website okay this website i will say that you should create your free account so what is the benefit with free account is you will get for first 12 months lot of services like for free and this you can try as a hands on actually see even like <laughs> azure virtual machine how to create means lot of resources are there you cannot tell now it is that hey i don't have learning resources everything is there try thing be persistent as i mentioned nothing is easy if you are asking me uh, give me the job easy there, there is nothing easy thing but if you remain if you don't do anything you won't get anything that is the thing so if you spend like 3 4 month rigorously do the certification based on the role whatever you are trying and mention all those hands on on your resume also then obviously compared to other who don't do anything you will have lot of advantage right once you create your free azure account you can you will go to this portal portal.azure.com means this is a actual portal in azure microsoft has provided to you here you can create virtual machine here you can create uh, sql server any database see there are lot of services are there these are the services right uh, all services if i go this some of the like frequently used services like you create virtual machine you create sql database that has been like at the top has been provided to you but if you are looking for like in which section how many services are there like what are the services related to for example database if i type say database here so see these are sql database as your sign up and analytics this is related to the data warehouse as your migrate is this is for migration if you want to do on premise migration to uh, azure this azure migrate you will use azure cosmos is no sql database uh, some of you would have heard about uh, no sql database like mongo db so similar to mongo db compliant cosmos db is the is the is the i would say the azure services for that if you type say <laughs> ai ai related different services actually kubernetes also some of you would have heard kafka this is like some of the terminology in the and uh, storage what are the storage services azure managed cluster free services like means this is like a browser once you will have your free account if you will create on the virtual machine right now for this my id i don't have a free account actually i used to have previously but that 12 month has gone but uh, you will be able to create the virtual machine for free <coughs> and you will be able to try out out this different thing using this free account portal and corbet actually when they purchase azure they also used to get their subscription for azure and they through this portal only they used to create i would say the different resources in azure and they used to deploy this out devops maybe i'll tell uh, at the end and meanwhile these like links also in my presentation i have shared if you want to show like get the like uh, high level overview of all the azure certification this azure chart this is a very good website actually uh, means what are the compute services in azure see azure uh, i would say container apps azure virtual machine if you click on this you want to learn like how to create the virtual machine in azure so this will also take you to some of the learning resources what are the like uh, networking services are there azure network vnet manager front door i would say initially not all services you need to know some basic virtual machine storage networking uh, how to create sql no sql database that is more than enough as you will become more experienced professional slowly slowly you will get to know uh, like more services actually depending upon your project requirement you need kafka you need azure storage queue you need azure devops ci cd pipeline devops people will be knowing the related devops services i would say they may not know each and everything but solution architect role is such that he know i would say most of the fundamental azure services and he is the person to recommend the right services right architecture to the company so that's why actually th those are i would say the senior role and i am a solution architect uh, 
uh, that's what my job used to be actually i i used to get the business requirement i used to create the proper architecture diagram for the client i tell them that use these services because client we need to give the budget also right how much cost that services will come so every cloud provider used to have a like pricing calculator also in azure also if you tell if you search for azure pricing calculator through that you will get to know how much price that particular resource if you want to have on azure how much that will cost you actually so that's what actually architect as you know that if you create some home architect know everything in and out what is the best thing and he will even recommend actually like if something is good in azure or aws since i am a multi cloud architect i usually recommend that for this azure is good and for why actually and why aws is going for for why so this website also i will recommend you to go through that and uh, pricing calculator i was telling you that you want to know how much virtual machine will cost me right so through this pricing calculator you will come even actually when you will go to azure uh, that portal actually when you will be creating the virtual machine at that time also it will give you some estimated price let's say you are creating this this resource on azure what is the estimated like price will come for you okay so in pricing calculator you need to select which region like you want to create the virtual machine what is the operating system windows linux what is the operating system type os only so that's what like one person was asking me how what what is the meaning of az104 certification so that person know all these details of like what is the meaning of this tier right instance series that has been covered in the certification right so that's why company need certified people so that they will be helpful when they will create the resources on that particular crowd right because these are all this you may not be knowing un until you know the knowledge of azure right then only you will be able to select that out and see if i am going with all the basic configuration that in this region i want to have the virtual machine this is the os type windows will be generally because it's a license it will come monthly cost 154 dollar actually you can change the cpu everything for example instance type i want one core two core everything if i change to linux you will say that the cost will get decrease see it is just 80 dollar windows because it's a licensing cost is more uh, if you for example uh, if you want to have a discount right you want to have 3 year saving plan means you will pay some of the prices up front so that microsoft in, instead of 80 dollar it is coming to 37 dollar right if you want to reserve something because like corporate has come up with some commitment hey i want to have a virtual machine for 3 years so microsoft is giving you that much discount so the in this calculator for example storage account also you want to try that out how much cost it will come so means every service you can just see this is storage account but you need to know what is the access tier hot call what is the meaning of this access tier what is the redundancy so this i know actually because i have solution architect azure so what is this is a locally redundant storage what this is a zone redundant so then only you will be able to tell right this az104 person even devops people also know need to have a knowledge of azure if you are if they are telling that i am a devops related uh, like resource for azure what is the capacity for like i want to have and this will give you estimated price of those like storage like 20 dollar per month if you tell that i am want 3 year reserve so it will come less actually if you get the payment from up front then this also will get reduced so cloud is a very very vast thing i would say is a huge world it's a it is a world it is growing it will have the demand in future also lot of artificial intelligence because that much huge resources uh, like company need and company cannot create all those resources all of a sudden they need some cloud provider actually to try out ai project to try out devops project so that's why there is a huge uh, i would say the need of cloud or the engineers are there yeah plural site and cloud guru courses are in also enough but i would say for learning actually no one can no one can say that i uh, like everything is paid so i am unable to do that i told you that this microsoft learning website everything is free for you you just need to have a discipline you need to have a right path what you want to do go through that 
even like some of the good quality this youtube tutorial this is also very good tutorial actually this person this is a very known person in the it industry andrew brian and people are coming up with the free resources why because see he has got 1.5 million likes views on the through through this video he is earning into lakhs or even millions of rupees like rupees because these are all paid account based on the number of like comment views he is already getting everything so that's why a lot of professional they are also putting everything their uh, like blog technical blog on the youtube because through that they are getting lot of earning actually so these people actually instead of putting their courses on like plural site or other they are putting on the on the free free it is not free i would say they are all paid instructor they are highly earn instructor i would say they are earning into millions of rupees through this number of views and the likes so this is uh, also website pricing calculator i have seen <coughs> this is like what all geography azure has the data center this site is about that because company if they are from the india they want to create their resources into india region uh so you will get azure services overview azure maps click to open the documentation this is a very good website actually i like this website and on the top of this website you have lot of learning you have lot of stories you have lot of solutions region uh, like perspective learning fun like lot of like lot of useful link actually you will see that it's coming out of you like if you want to know azure function if you click on this it will open the documentation for azure function how to create that out it will have some like video links also how to create azure function azure related azure azure container azure kubernetes engine some related modules everything like it's only like you spend time you get started everything is free for you is there so is this making sense to you like whatever i'm talking is this helpful to you have you got some information or the knowledge today so this is what all actually i wanted to cover in this webinar maybe i'll stop the recording and i will take the question uh, right now